Now the next tool, the next uh, set of tools that I want to show you, I'm only going to really touch on. Um, I still need to work on some of them. Uh, I know some of them work great. I know some of them don't. Uh, just because uh, Cat has been changing enough that it's throwing me off. So there's some things that work and some things that don't work. You can see here I've got the the setup mode set up and the setup mode toggle, which is exactly like the fig mode setup and toggle allowing you to put a hotkey to take the character in and out of setup mode um, those of you that use cat probably know what I'm talking about those that don't probably don't but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by creating a cat object and I'll just use one of the built-in characters let's say the horse I don't know I'm just picking one here and let's do that okay now what you got here I changed my mind I'm gonna do something different <laughs> let's just create a cat parent oops forgot you gotta do this okay so we'll create a cat parent alright and all I'm gonna do is hit um, go to modify panel hit create pelvis pretty simple right now sometimes what I need to do is I'll have a character for example I recently did a crocodile and I had uh, a tail or something I can't remember what it was I believe it was the tail and it was pretty intricate it wasn't the crocodile it was a different character so what I ended up doing what I usually do is I I drew some points that were where I wanted the actual tail to be right and so what I can do here is um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here sorry is I'm gonna show you how to use this tool right here this one I know works I've used it a lot and basically it's called a uh, uh, cat rig uh, tail from objects so I've got these five objects that represent you know uh, where I want the tail to be you know as far as deformation you know joint locations what have you now I can go ahead and create a tail and kinda of put it in the right place but I find that it can be a real pain in the butt sometimes so I created this script where I can grab these objects in order kinda like the bones tools and then double click this script or hotkey whatever and you'll see now I have a rubber band now what I want to do is I want a rubber band to the pelvis so I start by selecting all the objects in order and then I rubber band to the pelvis and it creates the tail well you don't see it yet but uh, it asks you if you want to delete the objects typically I say no just so I make sure it works and I still have them to use them but since I'm demoing to you and I know it'll work, I'm just going to say yes. Now you see I have a tail that is shaped uh, with their pivot points at the locations where I had those dummies. Or the points. Dummies, whatever. Um, as you can see now, it moves with the pelvis. Um, that is how the rest of these work. Create the leg from objects. Um, Again, it's another one where things are, they've changed enough that I still kind of need to work on it. So try it at your, you know, try it out. If you have any problems, please tell me, okay? Um, IKFK to zero to one. If you know how to use it, you know what I'm talking about there. Bone to mesh uh, is where, let's say I have a mesh object that I want to use to replace um, the cat object here. So I could just click that and rubber band to it and it just basically does everything you need uh, minus the collapse just so that you know it works so all you have to do is say okay edit poly delete and collapse all so now you have that object instead of the actual cat box but what you can do is you know if you had this on all your objects you can select them all and say uh, use custom mesh off or use custom mesh on so you can quickly toggle between using a custom mesh for say um, your character or using just the actual cat objects themselves uh, <laughs> perfect example of what I'm talking about here as far as it being a little bit iffy I have no idea why that even came up but it did uh, I'm not gonna waste the video because all I was gonna say was you can do the exact same uh, tail creation for extra bones as well uh, again this is out of the ordinary I don't usually see this but it really doesn't shock me cat has some things here and there that need work and I'm holding out hope that it'll it'll happen and I think it will uh, enjoy <laughs>